Maybe you've heard about digital planning or maybe you're new to the idea of planning and scrapbooking on your iPad. Maybe you are a pro and you're looking for a more streamlined way to design your digital planners, keeping the entire process on your iPad in one app. Or maybe you just haven't found planner piece and think that designing your own planner with your own custom spreads is the way to go. If you fall into any of these categories, this class is just for you. I'm excited to walk you through the journey of creating your very own digital planner in the all new Affinity Publisher app right on your iPad. Aside from my work in graphic design and illustration, I really enjoy planning. In addition to paper planning, I have a fond appreciation for digital planning. Some of my top selling products are my digital planners and sticker sets in my Etsy shop and on Creative Market, which is why I'm really excited to share this next class with you. Building a digital planner in Affinity Publisher on the iPad is not nearly as hard as you think. I wanted to share some tips, my knowledge, and help you build a digital planner that you can also customize to your needs. I also find that digital planners are less intimidating as you don't feel so much pressure when you're creating because you can always undo. Finally, digital planners are a bit more eco-friendly than your traditional paper planners as you can always reuse them over and over again year after year. Hi everyone, if this is your first class with me, welcome. If you are a returning student, welcome back. I'm so glad to have you here. I'm Jen and I will be guiding you through this creative course. I'm a freelance graphic designer, illustrator, and educator based out of the Midwest and I run Bella and Sophia Creative Studio. If you want to learn more about me, you can visit me online at www.bellasofiacreative.com and you can also check out my YouTube channel, The Creative Studio. There you'll get a behind the scenes view of the work that I do as a creative freelancer and educator as well as access to a huge library of additional free tutorials relating to art, design, and illustration. In this class, you will learn how to create a linked digital planner in the all new Affinity Publisher app on your iPad. I've been a huge fan of the Affinity products and one of my top digital planning classes walks students through the process of creating a digital planner in Affinity Publisher version one on their desktop computer. When I heard about the update and the fact that Serif was launching the app version for the iPad, I knew I had to revamp the course and walk users through the new app. I really enjoy using Affinity Publisher for creating planners and printables because it's so easy to design layouts, create precise shapes, space them evenly. You could even do things like add vector effects to the shape. It's also really easy to add dates to the planner and grids and keep the numbers and shapes properly aligned using the align tools. And most importantly though, you can link all of your pages to prepare them for your digital note-taking app in the same program. You don't have to jump into another program to do this. You can do it all, design, link, in one go using Affinity Publisher on your iPad. When we're designing our planner today, you can choose to create either a dated or an undated planner as your class project. For this class though, and for the sake of ease, we will be creating an undated planner. Not only are you learning design concepts and how to create the planner, this course is a fantastic class to get you comfortable using the Affinity Publisher app. This is because I will be walking you through the basic process of creating in the program and you get a tangible project at the end that you can use after you're done. So when it comes to the skills that you'll learn, you will learn how to create your own digital planner in Affinity Publisher on the iPad. We will start with the basics of understanding the interface and getting acclimated to all the toolbars and functions in the Affinity Publisher workspace. Then we will start to build out your digital planner. You will learn how to design basic layouts, create pages, get an understanding of the layers functions in the program, learn how to create tabs and how to link those tabs to pages in your layouts. We will also go over how to use the shape tools, the line tool, and how to use the move and align functions. You will get a better understanding of the layer effects tools and how to add things like embossing and shadows to make items feel a little bit more 3D. You will learn how to create basic buttons. And finally, we will go over how to export your file for use in note-taking apps like GoodNotes and how to load it onto the app on your iPad. We will also go over some really simple tasks in GoodNotes like how to write on your planner, how to add text, how to add stickers, and how to duplicate pages and spreads. When you're done designing your planner, you can use the planner you create in this class to offer as a free download if you're trying to build an email list, sell it on your website or a site like Etsy or Creative Market. And to make things easier, I will also be including the class project Affinity Publisher template that you can edit and get acquainted with before you even start on your own. I will also include a PDF version of the planner along with some special stickers that I've made that you can use in GoodNotes as well. All you need to take this class is your iPad, the Affinity Publisher app, and the GoodNotes app. 